Determine if the points 1, 5, 2, 3 and minus 2, minus 11 are collinear. First of all, what do you mean by collinear? I hope you know the meaning of collinear. Let me tell you, collinear means if 3 or more than 3 points lies in the same line. Okay, if 3 or more than 3 points lies on the same line, it means they are collinear. And I hope you must have seen one question that we have done previously that was also belongs to collinear. So, Again, collinear means if three or more than three points lies on the same straight line, it means they are collinear. Here we have three points. Let's say we'll name it first of all. Let's say first point that is one comma five. Let's say it is A. Second point is two comma three and third point is c that is minus 2 comma minus 11 so if they are collinear so if they are collinear i don't know which one is first one which one is second which one is third but let's say uh, let me explain you if this is a this is b and this one is c and they lies on a same straight line it means we should come to know that ab plus bc ab plus bc should be equal to ac if we get this result then we can say all the three points are collinear but if two sides is not equal to the third side it means they are not collinear so first of all we have to find out distance between ab then bc then ca and then we'll find out whether the sum of two sides is equal to third side or not if it is not then they are not collinear if it is then they are collinear okay so first of all we'll find out distance between a b b c and c a again we have to apply distance formula whenever we have to apply any formula or any condition we have to write down okay it is must to write down formula or any condition which is applied to the particular question so first of all we are writing distance formula x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square and whole root okay first of all the distance between a b now here a will consider this as x1 y1 and this one as x2 y2 so we'll put accordingly all the values x2 is 2 x1 is 1 plus again y2 is 3 because we have y2 minus y1 and y1 is 5 now 2 minus 1 can you please tell me 2 minus 1 yes it is 1 and 3 minus 5 no it is not 2 it should be minus 2 okay yes it is minus 2 so 1 square is 1 and what is the square of minus 2 as we know square of any value whether it is negative or positive the result is always positive so the square of minus 2 will be 4 1 plus 4 is 5 so the distance between a b is root 5 units okay because we don't know the units so we'll write down simply units now we'll find out the distance between b c for b c we'll consider point b as x1 y1 and this one point c as x2 y2 and we'll apply in the same formula this one so the value of x2 is minus 2 and the value of x1 is 2 whole square then what we have my dear students then exactly we have y2 minus y1 that is minus 11 minus 3 whole square minus 2 minus 2 yes it is minus 4 whole square plus minus 11 minus 3 is minus 14 square and we have whole root square of minus 4 is 16 and the square of minus 14 is 196 you can always find out if you don't know you can multiply 14 with 14 you will get 196 now 16 plus 196 if you don't know you can easily calculate 196 plus 16 6 plus 6 is 12 9 plus 1 10 11 and then we have 212 now we have to find out the prime factorization of 212 
first of all it is an even number so it is divisible by 2 2 ones are then we have 0 2 six are again 2 fives are then we have threes are can we further divide 53 I don't think so because 53 is a prime number yes so write about BC so BC is equal to 2 multiply with 2 multiply with 53 53 is a prime number okay so we have the pair of 2 so I can write down 2 root 53 this one is BC units now we are left with one more distance can you please tell me which distance yes exactly the distance between A and C so we'll find out distance between AC again we'll first of all consider A as x1 y1 and C as x2 y2 so the formula is x2 minus x1 whole square plus minus 11 minus 5 whole square then we have minus 2 minus 1 that is equal to minus 3 whole square plus minus 11 minus 5 is minus 16 whole square square of minus 3 is 9 and the square of minus 16 is 256 and if you add both the numbers you will get 265 again we have to find out prime factorization of 265 265 that comes to be if we divide this 265 we can easily divide by 5 so it is 5 5's are and 5 3's are so I can easily write down the factors because we cannot further divide it because 53 is prime number so 5 into 53 whole root so we cannot make any pair so I will simply write down root 265 units now as we discuss sum of two sides should be equal to the third side now if we see this one that is root 5 and this one is 2 root 53 and this one is 2 that and this one is root 265 if you add any two side you are not getting third side okay so if you are adding any two sides you are not getting third side so we can say three points are not collinear so in answer you can write down they are not collinear so whenever we have to check three points whether they are collinear or not what we have to do we have to find out the distance between all the three points that is a b b c and a c and the sum of two sides should be equal to the third side in our case it is not the case so they are not collinear is it clear